hello and a very warm welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I want to talk about real estate in Stubel in southwest Portugal and discuss whether it's an investment opportunity or not now in the first part of this video I'll talk a little bit about Stubel and in the second part we'll look online at some property available in Stubel now Stubel is a lovely city it has around 120,000 inhabitants and what's nice it's surrounded by nature reserves and beautiful beaches as well and it's a very affordable city to live in in particular compared to Lisbon where you can eat out for as little as 10 euros and it's very well connected Stubel it's actually only about 45 to 50 minutes by bus or train to Lisbon and you can drive to Lisbon in about an hour or so because Lisbon is only around 50 kilometers away what's also good about Stubel it's got excellent infrastructure so we are talking about hospitals schools banks and a good large shopping center as well in fact there are quite a number of small and large companies based in this city and to add to the city's attraction is that it actually has a lovely nice historic center as well so what about prices in this lovely city well prices at the moment are around 2400 euros per square meter now as in many parts of um, Portugal prices unfortunately have been on the rise so back in 2020 prices on average stood at around 1800 euros per square meter so there has been a significant increase and that would suggest perhaps that maybe now is not the time to buy one advantage I would say though is that in this city there are not many expats so you won't find the expats that you find in for example Lisbon Porto um, the Algarve and increasingly in places like Braga and Coimbra uh, there are a lot less expats so once the expats start coming in uh, although there are expats already but once more start coming in perhaps prices may well start to rise but at 2400 euros per square meter and the city quite spaced out um, I think I don't think it's going to be a real investment opportunity I think prices may go up a little bit more but you're not going to see big price rises here over the next few years I don't think anyway and if you do decide to buy here I think it's going to be more of a lifestyle purchase so this now is the end of the first part of the video in the second part of the video what I'm going to do is show you properties online available in this city in Portugal so that's it for the first part and I'll see you soon on part two So welcome back to part two of this video where I'll show you some properties available in Stuba and the two areas I'm going to choose are the historic center and Bonfim which has a good shopping area is a residential area but has good public transport system and average prices here are around 2400 to 2500 euros per square meter so prices across Stubel do not vary too much so the first property I want to look at is this semi-detached house in Bonfim which as I've said is a nice area a good shopping area residential and good public transport and it's 132 square meters for 385,000 euros and it's a three bedroom house so let's just have a quick look here um, three bathrooms uh, on two floors semi-detached and a land plot of 60 square meters air conditioning and built in 2020 so quite a recent property so it's nice in a city obviously like Portugal to get uh, a nice semi-detached house for 385 so let's have a look at the pictures the living room kitchen living room uh, kitchen again 
Uh, there are some irrelevant photos here of the sinks, etc. Um, I just quickly skim through those. There's the living room. There's another picture of the living room. Details of where you put the washing machine, bathroom, staircase, bedroom. So a huge bedroom, bedroom, and again the bedroom, and another bathroom, and I think that'll be another bedroom. So remember, this property has three bedrooms and three bathrooms. And there's the view around Bonfim again. And there's a nice terrace, outside terrace, um, to, I don't know, do a barbecue, get some sun or whatever you want to do. So nice, quite a nice place. And there we have just the remaining pictures. I believe that will be the third bathroom um, and the area around. So quite a nice property. Uh, to get a house is always lovely in a city and uh, under 400,000 euros. It's not cheap. I will grant you that, but um, Portugal, as we all know, is becoming more expensive. Now, the next property I want to show you is a two-bedroom flat, again in Bonfim, on the fourth floor with an elevator, 110 square meters for 195,000 euros. So the great thing about this, two bedrooms, one bathroom, it's less than 2,000 euros per square meter and is in good condition. Um, so let's have a look inside very quickly. Um, there we have the surrounding view areas. And again, and that's the building itself. So that's pretty good living room, living room. And again, the living room. So the living room is very big. And it's another view. And it's quite nice. There's a bedroom. And you'll see as we go through the pictures, it's, it, it looks quite new, actually. And the bathroom, this bathroom is a very nice bathroom, too. Perfectly usable balcony, kitchen, huge eating kitchen. Actually, it's a huge two-bedroom, one-bathroom apartment. So I think this is pretty good value at less than €2,000 per square metre. So let's go to the third place. Now, the third place actually is in... Um, the historic center and I think this is amazing value for money this is on the second floor with an elevator and it's um, 96 square meters so three bedrooms two bathrooms balcony and under 2,000 euros per square meter so it's it's good that you can actually find places here even though the average is 2,400 euros per square meter there are cheaper places if you do look so there's the kitchen. It's a huge kitchen, as you can see. The living room is huge. And again, we can see that a massive bedroom. Bedroom. So I, I think this is actually the best property value for money. I actually found bedroom again in the historic center as we go through the pictures. I was pretty pleased to find this one. Um, obviously, it looks messy there, but that's just a matter of clearing things out. There's your corridor, so nice corridor. Perhaps the bathroom, you may want to change the bathroom as that comes down, but I think that's only a bit of cosmetic work. Um, I think it's pretty good value for money. There's the views. Okay, the views are not brilliant, but it's still quite pleasant. And again, the views. Second floor with lift. So the surrounding area is not bad. It's in, it's in the center. And I think if you can get that for under 2,000 euros per square meter, that is pretty good going for pretty good value for money. Now, I want to show you just one other, I believe, one other place. It's at the higher end. So this is a four bedroom flat on the seventh floor with a lift, 205 square meters uh, in the historic center. Um, on the expensive side, uh, I'll give you that because it's 151 floor area. I believe the rest is kind of balconies, but it's four bedrooms, two bathrooms, seventh floor with a lift, um, parking as well, but it's um, quite nice. So if we look, there's the kitchen, nice modern kitchen. And again, there's a few uh, pictures of the kitchen, a lovely corridor to come into again. Uh, quite a few pictures of the corridor, actually, probably more than's needed. Huge bedroom there. So nice bedroom, nice bathroom, very elegant kind of bathroom. Bedroom, bedroom, a lovely bathroom, another bathroom there, office. Uh, so this is a huge, huge place. Um, a dining room, beautiful dining room as well. And again, and again, dining room. 
pictures coming down a bit slow the internet connection is a bit slow here but living room living room again views so you've got far-reaching views as well and there is also parking here too so you've got a parking space as well but I think what's the good selling point the views here are probably the best of all the properties I've shown you um, and it's in the historic center so obviously they are concentrating a lot on the views there and I think it's it's look it's on the expensive side I'll grant you that it's not cheap but I thought it was um, for the area and for the type of property I thought it was worth showing to you and there's the garage parking space communal area those are the communal areas as well actually it's quite an elegant place no doubt about that and and that's it so anyway um, my overall impression of Stubol is that it's a lovely city in Portugal I think it's more of a lifestyle purchase instead of an investment opportunity but if you do decide to come and live in Stubol well I think you're going to have a good quality of life anyway that's it for today thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you soon on the next video